Hello and welcome to the Pullman's Guide to the Galaxy. My name is Alfred Turner and today I will be discussing where I do my shopping and where why I do my shopping in these shops. Um, and by shopping of course I mean grocery sh shopping. Um, I, will be, I will be starting with the Poundland which is one of the shops where I do probably the least of my weekly or bi-weekly shopping, not including the Asian shop. Um, and at the moment I do my shopping in four, four different shops. Morrison's, Asda, Poundland and my local Asian shop. Um, and like I said, Poundland and my local Asian shop, Oriental Market, is where I do the least of my shopping. Um, Uh, um, what I buy from Poundland at the moment is school materials, for example, you know, pens, paper, pencils, and things like that, because you get a 32 pack, a 32 pack of pens, ballpoint pens, blue, black and a couple of red ones for one pound. 32 pence for a pound and I think the pencils are just about the same. Um, I also buy my Christmas cards there in one of those big packs. I think they're like 50, 50 for a pound. And I use these to, of course, send to my friends and family. And But I also do, do send them to different companies. Um, last year I sent out like 20 to different companies and I got got like vouchers and uh, products from them, from a lot of them. For example, uh, Virtus, you know, the, the sweet factory, sent me a lot of sweets, for, so thank you. Um, I also got some coupons and, and uh, other, th other things from other places I can't remember till so now I just remember that I got like a ton of sweets. Um, something that I also buy is um, plants and seeds like vegetables and fruit plants. Um, at the moment so I've got three or four plants outside in the gardens. I got two black black currants bushes that are, that are going to start giving me fruit in about two years. And I've got a blackberry bush as well. And that is, that I hope is going to start giving me fruit next year. And yeah, they're really good, especially if you buy them off season. Like now you're going to get like, grow your own garlic for 50 pence, which is of course a very good price as you can get, can get two of them for a pound. Um, I also buy some treats from there, so for example if I want to indulge and buy some cans of soda, which are of course more expensive than buying a big bottle of uh, soda, then I go to Poundland or Morrison's. You get a four pack of these uh, regular sized cans of, for example Pepsi, I think they might have something else like Tango. Um, you get four, four of these for a pound, uh, which is of course 25 pence a can. I would not buy, I want to pay more for, for a can of soda. And for example, in Morrison's you get a six pack of uh, regular sized uh, soda cans for one pound fifty, which is of course also 25 pence each. Uh, and this has the added benefit of being a branded product, of course. Nothing wrong with the generic one from, and the Insta brand from Morrison's. But if uh, if I want to treat, then I'll go and, and buy the branded product, um, which I do sometimes. And <coughs> I do buy some snacks from from Poundland as well. But but uh, with things like snacks. And Poundland, you have to be very careful. 
um, not, not, there's nothing wrong with the product itself, it's just that you have to be aware of the different sizes and the size differences that you're going to get. For example, if you buy a multi-pack of crisps, like uh, Walkers, a uh, multi-pack of crisps, um, you're not going to get a six-pack six six pack like you're used to getting at other shops. You're going to get a four-pack, so you get four packs of crisps for a pound. Um, where in other shops you're going to get, when they're on sale, six packs, a six pack for one pound, um, making them of course less than 20 pence uh, per pack. So, and the packs in that are in Poundland tend to be smaller as well when it comes to snacks and sweets than they are in other shops. I think the Walker's crisps are uh, somewhere between 33 and 20, no, 25 and third 23 grams sorry so somewhere between 23 and 25 grams depending on what variety you buy whereas in like like you know asta or morrison's they might be 30 grams at least and i know in subway they're 32 grams so that is something that you should always be aware of you know you know you're going to get a smaller small <laughs> smaller pack for for the price that you pay and so uh, just be aware of that just so just so you don't get disappointed but if you buy like a sharing pack for example i'm just watching my neighbor walk by because i'm sitting by a window he has a dog mm, yeah um but if you buy one of those sharing packs for example or like a big pack that's just filled with crisps or snacks, uh, cheese puffs, whatever, I don't know, um, then you're going to pay, obviously pay less per portion than, than, than you're going to do if you buy a multi-pack. So be aware of that, you know, I, you can get, I think, two or three hundred grams for a pound, which is obviously a much better price than a hundred grams for <coughs> in a multi-pack uh, for a pound, sorry. Daddy need a drink. <coughs> um, yes. And <coughs> and the same thing is true for example for other products such as pasta, you're going to get half a kilo of pasta for a pound, which, I mean, in other shops you're going to get half a kilo for, for a pound too. <coughs> but with pasta you can get the same, the same amount, 500 gram, half a kilo for 50 pence, or even as low as 20 pence. If you buy spaghetti, I know Morrison saves spaghetti, is 20 pence for half a kilo and like regular pasta from from them from Morrison's is about 30 pence so for the same amount so be aware of that um, again there's nothing wrong with the product itself but the price you know might be a bit higher than what you'd like to pay and it's the same thing with tin beans as well. I think the three half-sized cans for for a pound, making them thirty-three pence for half a can. Um, I think it's the same price in Morrison's, but then again, you get loyalty points if you shop at Morrison's. <coughs> um, so it might be worth worth it to go to Morrison's and buy the same thing for the same price but you get some loyalty points as well um, towards vouchers and stuff like that um, and of course if you buy the full size cans at any other shop you're going to pay less than 50 pence or less and you can go as low as 23 pence I usually buy the 23 pence cans because I don't have a lot of money at the moment and to be f perfectly honest they're just about as good as the 50 pence pens per can, multi-packs of Heinz or whatever the brands are. So, I like him. So, 
I mean, I do go to Poundland, but I don't go there very often. Um, one good thing that I'm going to mention about Poundland as well is that very often, if you go to the self checkout and you do do the whole process of checking out, paying, and then you get the receipt. On the back side of these receipts, you can often find uh, coupons for like Burger King and K KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. They, I think they have some sort of partnership with them. I always get KFC and Burger King <laughs> vouchers when I go there, which is perfect because I like both. And you know, vouchers are vouchers. So if I want to go and have a fast food every now and then, then or oh, sometime. Then, you know, I have a voucher so I can make it a bit more affordable for me. And that's just about it for the moment, I think. So, remember, nothing wrong with Poundland, but be aware of the prices and the sizes. And always to compare prices. But, and if you can get the same thing for the same size, the same price at, like, Morrison's, Tesco or Sainsbury's, then buy the things there because then you're going to get your loyalty points and in the end more vouchers and money in your pockets you know from them instead of giving them to Poundland without getting any points or anything from them besides the product. So that's just about it I think and so thanks for day today please like and subscribe if you want to <laughs> want some more and um, Leave a comment down below if you, there's anything that you'd like to see in the future. I do have a lot of things planned and I'll see you next time.